Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. If you're not familiar, my name is Papaya Mitchell, and I have another prophetic word to give you from the Holy Spirit. And this prophetic word is coming out of the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 through 3, and it tells us, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtain a good report. I want to stop there. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Everything attached to your name is getting ready to receive a good report. Those of you who have been receiving an F, and the F stands for failure, God is turning it around into an A. The A stands for accomplish. You will accomplish everything that is attached to your name everything good attached to you in this season will receive an a plus jesus let's go down to verse three through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear god is saying to many of you today out with the old and with the new. You need a noun faith for a noun breakthrough. You need a noun faith for the noun move of God. You need a noun faith for a noun miracle. You cannot use last week's faith. You cannot use two days ago faith. You need a noun thing. It's a noun thing. I need you to drop in the comments. It's a noun thing. God needs for your faith to come up now. God wants you to, to usher you into this next realm of faith. But you got to come up. You can't stay low in this season. You have to come up in this hour. God needs a supernatural confidence in you. God needs for you to believe that he's going to come through for you. God needs for you to have a now type of faith. The Bible tells us it's impossible to please God without faith. You want to please God in this season. You want to see him do some, some mind-breaking miracles in your life. God is saying, I require, I require a now faith in this season. You got to come up higher. God is releasing another level of faith for this next breakthrough. You need faith for this next breakthrough that God is ushering into your life. You need a noun type of faith. You can't come into the new with the old type of faith. God needs for you to have a noun type of faith. Jesus, I need for someone to catch this in their spirit, man. In Jesus' name. Faith gives you vision to the unseen. Faith is turning what you cannot see into what you can see. It's bringing something down in the spiritual realm into a right now realm, into a right now manifestation. God is saying to many of you today, if you can see it, you can have it. If you speak it, you can have it. That's the type of level of authority. That's the type of level of faith God is giving you. It's a now thing. It's a now thing, beloved. Faith is like a gift to God so he knows what you're accepting. Expecting. You give him the present in your mind. Mm, catch this. You give him the present in your mind. Then he knows what you expect of him. Y'all running out of faith is like running out of gas. You need vehicle. You need a vehicle to get the point A to point B. And that's how God works through faith. God wants your faith to be fueled in this hour. You can't afford to run out of no gas in this season. Baby, many of you are operating out of regular gas. You need diesel gas. God wants to usher you. God wants to release this type of anointing over your life because it's a now thing. It's not a last week thing. It's not a 30 days ago thing. It's a now faith for a now breakthrough, for a now miracle. Jesus. Faith, the Bible says, will frame your life. If you go back to verse three, it says, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by God. You need God to frame your life. And the only way he is able to frame your life, if you build up your faith, your faith has to be solid. Your faith has to be on a solid foundation. Jesus, 
It cannot be weak. It cannot be confused. It cannot, it cannot doubt what God is trying to do in your life. It has to be solid for God to move in your life. How far you go in life is based off of your faith. Many of you, oh God, I don't see God moving yet. I, I don't see God doing what he told me he was going to do because your faith is not strong. God needs a supernatural faith in this season for a supernatural move. God moves off of faith. Where is your faith on this level? Where is your faith? God is asking many of you, where is your faith? What can I move through? God can't move if you have no faith. God can't move if your faith is low. God needs you to have a diesel type of faith for him to push you into the next level. Jesus, God is saying their faith got to come up. Their faith got to come up because the windows of heaven are open, but I need their faith to come up. Their faith is too low for me to move in their life. You got to come up to a higher dimension. You want to see God move? Well, you move in your faith. You elevate your faith. You make sure you strengthen your faith because God is a strong God and he wants strong faith. Jesus, catch this, catch this prophetic word. Catch this because your faith, your faith is too low. You're getting weak. You're getting worried. You're not believing God for it. Your faith has to be strong. You have to be rooted in the word. You have to be rooted in the promise. You have to be rooted that you will break through into the new. God wants to take many of you to the next level, but your faith, your faith game is too weak. Your faith game has to be solid in this season for God to move in your life, for God to shift you. You got to stand on business. Everybody is talking about stand on business. Well, stand on your faith in this season and watch how God show up for you in this season. Many folks, they will call you crazy. Sometimes you have to have some crazy faith. Sometimes you have to move in a, in a foolish way and everybody is not going to understand, but you see the vision. Even though everybody else don't see, you see it. It's called faith. God has given you a vision and he wants to manifest it in your life. But God is saying, I need some ridiculous faith for a ridiculous blessing. Build your faith in the spiritual realm to be able to pull down the third heaven for you to receive that manifestation, for you to receive that breakthrough, for you to receive that burst, that pop in your life. Many of you, you have some crazy ideas. Entrepreneurs that are on here today, God is saying, I see it. I see it. You have wrote it down. I gave you the vision in your mind, but your faith is too low. Your faith is too low for me to go. You have to have some type of movement in this season. God needs a fuel in you. And those of you who have been weakened through the process, God is fueling you in this hour because he needs for you to come up higher. He needs a crazy type of faith. A lot of folks, they're not going to understand you. They're not going to understand this next level that God is ushering you into. But it's not for them to understand. It wasn't a conference call. This thing is between you and God. God knows what he is doing in your life. It doesn't matter what folks say. God is saying, this thing is between me and you. And I need your faith to be able to move. I need your faith to make sure you have a secure position in me. I need your faith. I need your faith. This is a now type of thing. This is a now type of faith that I need. I need you to have confidence in me. Don't lose your awe, baby. Don't lose your awe, Jesus. Keep moving. You got to move in this season. The devil wants to sow these seeds of doubt in your mind. God is saying you have to cast that thing down. As soon as he do it, you have to cast it down right then and right there and send it back to the pits of hell where it 
belong because that is not your portion. It's not your portion. God wants to see you reign in this season. God wants to see you successful in this season. God wants for you to come back to him with a good report. Jesus, he wants a good report. He wants a good report because he is turning your situation around. But how can God keep turning when your faith is weakening? Jesus, you have to fuel your faith. God is fueling your faith in this season. He, he wants to fuel you into your next. He wants to fuel you into the new beginning. He wants to fuel you into the new restart. Beloved, now faith is the evidence of things not seen. Jesus, a lot of folks around you, they don't understand and they're not going to understand where you're going. A lot of folks, they don't understand the warfare, the heavy attacks that you face because they're not, they're not going where God is taking you. Their time is up in your life and you have to realize that. God is taking you to a place that has never been seen before. You have to accept the calling that's on your life. You have to accept what you are birthing out in this hour. It's about you and God. And God is saying to you today, I need your faith for this next move. It's a noun type of thing. It's a noun type of thing. A noun type of faith. Not one day ago faith. I need a noun, a today's faith for the, for, a, for a breakthrough, for an overnight breakthrough. For a ridiculous breakthrough. I need a noun type of faith. And that's the oil that God is releasing into your womb. God is fueling you in this hour. Jesus, accept your tank on full, okay? <laughs> Except your tank. God is saying you will accomplish every good thing in this season. Every good thing. Every good thing that I have ordained for your life, you will accomplish it. No more else. You're not a failure. You will accomplish. You will accomplish all that I have for you. Baby, I'm fueling your tank. I'm taking you up higher. I'm giving you more oil. I'm giving you more glory. I'm giving you more favor for your next. In Jesus' name. Family, receive this prophetic word. Receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. Thank you for watching. Kisses. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.